Hey everybody, this is Brandon Hilgeman from ProPreacher.com and I'm going to show you today how I edit the videos that I create, especially with the whole coronavirus thing going on right now. A lot of churches are moving rapidly to more video creation, more online content that you're making and trying to push out to help people feel connected, to get sermons out there, to get uh, video devotionals, anything that you're creating to send to your people online to help them feel more connected to your church. Uh, this is going to be something that could be helpful for you. So I thought I'd just show you how I do it. I'm by no means an expert, but I've been doing this for a few years. I've been learning more and more. And uh, here is just my creative process. Here's my flow. Here's how I edit videos. I do it. Here's my setup behind me. This is my, uh, I'm running this off of a MacBook Air right now. There's just an external monitor hooked up to a really old MacBook Air. In fact, what, what year is my MacBook Air? Let me find out. Okay, so this is a 2015 MacBook Air. So it's a little old, but it's still doing the job. It's still, uh, it's holding down the fort and doing a good job handling video. Not the best. I want to upgrade to a newer one, hopefully soon, but um, this one still is getting the job done. So I just got it hooked up to an external monitor. Uh, I run Final Cut Pro through it. Got a simple Apple keyboard, Apple trackpad, and that's, that's kind of my setup. My speakers here are just these Logitech speakers I got. They were on sale and uh, picked them up. They do a pretty good job. Anyhow, let's, let's get into it. So Bian, I'm just going to open up a new event. Sometimes I name it, sometimes I'll just leave it as a date. Here we go, 32020, here's the new project. Now what I'll do is I'll take then all the footage I've made. So I plugged in my card here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the video stuff that I have recorded, here it is right here. And I just dump that into my project. Or I'll even dump it, you can drop it down into your timeline too if you want to. Bring that down into my timeline. And there is all the footage that I shot on my video of how to, how I film videos. Now, if you want to check that one out, check it out. First thing I do when I get in here is I adjust the audio. Now I've created some audio presets that I just save for myself since it takes forever to adjust audio. It's, I did it once, have a preset I created, branded audio, I called it, saved it. So now I just drop it on there and boom, my audio is better. <laughs> um, and that's been me, if you go into the audio settings, Spent me a long time adjusting the channel EQ, the limiter. I'm no, I'm by no means an expert at this, but I it spent a long time just adjusting these things, trying to figure out uh, the best way to do it, at least for my voice, as I can as a as a minor, uh, as a, a hobbyist, I guess, or somebody who who does this on the side who never went to school for audio mixing or anything like that. So I get that all set up. Uh, I drop it on there. It's got all the things for me, and then I don't ever have to think about it. Well, that's great. So what I do is I just drop in. A color preset right there. I call it branding color. My stuff should be all set up, sound good, should look a lot better. Sometimes I'll go in here, you can see my color board that that, that, that just dropped in. Sometimes I'll go in here, I'll adjust the exposure, saturation, color, but I already got that preset in my in my presets, so usually pretty happy with that. All right, once in my timeline, I actually set up some keyboard shortcuts, so if I hit Q, it, it pins everything to the timeline from the left. I've hit W, it pins everything to the right. You can actually do that up in the keyboard shortcuts if you go to file, I believe, and you can you can set up your presets. That's what I like to do. Anyways, so here I'll go in and I'll start just clipping video. Boom, there it is. Looks like I started that one over. Hey, this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com here, and I know that things are crazy right now with the... What I do is I look. I start looking for spikes in the audio where I know things need to cut out, and I can. So let me give you a little tour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over. Okay. This is where I'm switching over to a phone. So I'm gonna add the video over there. I hit M for a little marker to go over that. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my phone. Okay, so that was messed up. Repeating myself. I'll cut it there. Come back over here. Where I see this talking stops. And I just do kind of a rough cut really quick all the way through it. Now this is gonna get really boring if I do all this. I'll probably speed it up. And now I've got about 18 minutes of video I need to do. Now actually I forgot to get my iPhone footage in here. So if you can see this, I'm gonna to need to open up my iPhone, pull up my photos, find all that video I shot. See if I can airdrop it over to my computer. There it is. Got it. All right, I got my iPhone footage in here now. Let's see if I can just drop that in there. There it is. All right, now I'm just chunking through. 
Hey, this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com here, and I know that things are crazy right now with the coronavirus pandemic that is going on, and a lot of churches are suddenly finding themselves... One of the things I like to do when I got a long video, especially like this one, is I actually speed it up. Uh, if you just hit L on your keyboard and Final Cut, it speeds up, so I can listen to it like a little bit faster speed. Jump full on into video because... Helps me just save time. ...churches with not being able to gather together in public. ...churches are rushing, 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 All right, now when I'm syncing audio, this is a little trick here. So if I zoom really close in, you can see these waveforms should kind of match up a little bit. Let's see if this works. Some video, video so that I can show you my camera setup since my camera's, some video so that I can show you my camera. All right, now I'm not gonna use that audio, so I'm just gonna drop the audio on this one. I'm using the better audio on the bottom. Some video so that I can show you my camera setup since my camera is set up. Here's my camera. All right, so I just finished piecing all this together. The 15 minutes and 40 seconds, which is pretty long for me, but I did this kind of shotgun style, just off the cuff, uh, behind the scenes of how I set things up. So I kind of decided to let it go a little raw. And there you go. The next thing I like to do is I'll add a little bit of audio. I go to artlist.io. Here we go. I've got a subscription to them, and what they do is they provide you with a whole bunch of music that you can use that uh, is okay with YouTube. So I'll find some music that I like. I usually like is just a simple like beat. Sometimes it's just a simple like hip hop style beat. Let's see what this one is. But I don't want it something that's gonna overpower anything. It's too intense. like that all right so I'll just take those downloads got them over here I'm trying to figure out which one I hey, like this the most. Is so when I when I have a couple that I'm not sure about I'll bring them in here hey this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com here and I know that things are crazy right now with the coronavirus pandemic that is going on and a lot of churches are suddenly oh, that's really themselves. loud that's really loud so what I like to do is I then click on my audio, go into my settings here. I usually drop the volume way down, maybe like a negative 20, let's try that. And what I like to do is I look, okay, I look at these little bars here on the right and I look and I see, okay, Bounce. normally full on. my audio is peaking and kind of, it, you see it up here around the zero, that's kind of where you want it. And so what I'll do is I'll look at that, and you usually, the, the rule is you kind of want your music to be about 20 dBs lower. That's peaking way high right now. You see where it's going over the zeros. So I'm gonna take that audio. I like to drop it usually about, man, 20 decibels, somewhere around there. That's peaking down here. That may not be bad. I don't want this music to be very Into overpowering. So let's try it now. Hey, this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com here, and I... What you don't want is the music to overpower the speaker. When in doubt, just cut out music. But if you're gonna use music, have it in the background, have it kind of quiet. I know that things are crazy right now with the coronavirus pandemic that is going on, and a lot of churches are suddenly finding themselves jumping. I kind of like that. Now, just to see if I like this other one better, I'll put it below it usually. I just hit the, the V button on my keyboard to kind of hide that one. And then I'll check out this one. I'll lower the decibels on the volume again. Negative 20, about the same as the last one. See if I like that one. Anybody? Hey, this is Brandon from Things Are Crazy Right Now with the coronavirus pandemic that is going on. And a lot of churches are suddenly finding themselves jumping full on into video yeah. because... All right, I don't like that one nearly as much as the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the other one. That's going to be my track for this. And here's what I usually will do. I'll just take that one. I'll put it at the back. I like to usually end the video with the song as well, so I'll copy and paste it at the back. Sometimes I'll kind of loop it through the video. This one's a really long video, just kind of behind the scenes, so I don't think I'll do it nearly as long. I'll probably just have most of this video just be me talking. Here to the church that I'm working at now and help all of them get set up and film. All right, now this is done. What I do is I actually go into the audio of each clip 
and I see these little faders to fade your audio, I drag these to fade in and out of each clip just a little bit. Now, that can get really, really tedious, but what you can actually do is set up a keyboard shortcut if you go into your keyboard settings and do that. So I've actually set one up where if I just hit option A, it does it for me automatically. So I'll select all my clips, I just hit option A, little quick shortcut, everything's done. Now it'll fade in and out and make my clips transition a lot smoother without all the pops, the clicks that you get sometimes between clips. Little tip if you're into video editing. Now that I'm in this phase, what I really like to do is I go in and I kind of clean up all the little pieces. I, I like to uh, go in and kind of piece together all the little clips. I like to go in and, and just uh, get into the nitty gritty to make it a little bit extra. Cut it down so it's a little shorter. Whatever I don't need, I'll cut out. And that usually takes me a long time as well. What I like to do once I'm at the end of my videos, I like to see where my music kind of naturally fades out and just adjust the music to fade out nice and easy. There we go, I'll fade that part out. That's my camera setup. Hope that helps you out. Stay posted for another video on how I edit all this and put it all together coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And somewhere near the end, I kind of like to bump the audio back up. Maybe I'll go back up to negative. I'm already at negative 20, so I'll take this part and bring it down. There we go. I did this video, and I'll show you that as well. So there you go. All right, so there you go. There's a really rough version. Look, I kept it at 13 minutes, pretty much on the dot, which a little long for me, but it does the job. So now I just want to make sure that all my clips are selected. Again, I want to make sure that my fade works. So I'm just going to apply that Alt, sorry, my Option A button to add a little like half, a little one second fade on each clip. And I'm good to go. So then I just file, share it. Oh, one thing I like to do, forgot. I like to add some titles I created. Here's a little title I created. I'll add that to the front. I made these in Apple Motion, but you can get people to, who will make them for you. You can find them online, buy one if you want, or it's just a little bit of my logo for the website. I'll have the Pro Preacher pop up right there. And I'll just kind of frame this one. Go into the click down here, hit transform. And I can kind of just move it where I want to. Let's have it pop up there, see what it looks like. Hey, this is Brand. Hey, this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com here, and I know that things are crazy right now with the coronavirus pain. All right, cool. Sometimes I'll add a little title at the end. Don't get too fancy with titles. I mean, you can try, but I like to just do some basic stuff. So at the very end here, as the music fades out, I might do a little. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What I like to do is I'll just maybe, maybe I'll make it a little smaller. There we go, see how that looks. Put it all together coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Maybe make it pop up a little bit later. And right before it does. Next time. And that's it. So I made a quick video, 13 minutes long here. So when I'm done, I just go to file, share, master file. And over here to settings, video and auto. I like the video codecs. I, I do an H.264. I know that works pretty good for me. 1.89 gigs. So here's something you need to know is if you're editing a lot of video, you might need an external hard drive. I do have my computer hooked up to like a two terabyte storage drive to help with all the extra files. Cause when you're editing big video, um, it's gonna take up a lot of space really fast. All right, so there you have it. That's how I edit my videos. Hopefully that was helpful for you. I know it's kind of rough and I just kind of went through it real quick. Like I said, uh, this is just the way I do it. Hopefully you picked up something that's helpful for you as you're creating videos for your church or you're making videos to send out to people. Let me know what you think. If you want more stuff like this, I can create a little bit more in-depth stuff, but uh, that's just the very basics. Well, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.